presented by Church Tech U. It's the ProPresenter Show. On today's show, text fill effects in ProPresenter 7.12. Hi, and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I teach all about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. Before we get started, why don't you join the over 10,000 other people that have subscribed and clicked on the little bell icon so that you can be one of the first people to know about new tutorials that I post when I post them. So when ProPresenter 7.11 was announced, they had background fill effects, and that was a pretty cool feature. But text fill effects, this was something that was formerly only available in Pro Video Player 3. So having that in ProPresenter is just an incredible advance. So let's head over to my computer and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So let's uh, first start off by going into a um, a different playlist. Actually, I know exactly what I want to do. I downloaded some of the sample stuff from ProPresenter 7.11, and you'll see this, and this is something that I uh, did here. Let me select a background here, and we'll go to audience just so that it's a little uh, more obvious, and I did this. This is really simple. I just added the name of Jesus and then filled the background with white, and then on the next slide, I reverse that. So let me show you that here, right there. Let me go ahead, take this full screen. So now you can see that you can see the background through the text. So the text is, in effect, filled with the background. And um, there's actually a couple of ways to do that. We'll talk about that in, uh, in just a second. For our Christmas presentation at my church, uh, we have a song where on our LED wall, we want the name of Jesus really large. And then we go back and forth between something like this and something like this. So we just basically go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And see how that really brings a lot of emphasis. And basically, it's just reversing what we've got here. So let me go in here and I'm going to show you what I did to do that. So right click, edit slide. So the first thing I did is I filled this with white. That's normal. Something that you've been able to do since uh, ProPresenter 7.0 was released. But the magic is here where I select the name of Jesus, which I made really big just for emphasis here. And now, here in text, before we had text color, where, you know, in this case it would be white, we also had a text gradient. Gradient was new in ProPresenter uh, 7.0. So that's here. It's kind of subtle because it's a slightly darker blue to a slightly lighter blue, but we did, in fact... Uh, that was something that was added a ways ago. But there's also now text cutout. This is the one that I was using. Basically says everything within the text field, remove that and just leave the shape of the text. So that's what I used in this example. But we also have media fill where I could select a piece of media. So let me find my media here. Um, yeah, here it is. And let's fill this with something nice and obvious. This is nature footage from our friends over at Church Motion Graphics. I've already added this a couple of times, so I'm just going to uh, say use existing in this case. And you can already kind of see what's going on here is there are trees here. And so that is showing. So if I go back here while I'm editing, I can click this show button in the lower right hand corner and then 
I'll show you what it looks like. It's kind of subtle. It's hard to tell that it is something. I should have gone with something a little brighter, but there I have that where I have filled this text with a different video file than is on the background, uh, well, the media layer. So that's a cool thing. And notice that I have the ability to do uh, go into Inspector, and even if I wanted to uh, add an effect here, let's say that I wanted to add a uh, color invert to it. Okay, so now it's it should be really obvious how that looks. So that's something else I can do. I can also do background invert for that. So let me click here to show and then take it full screen and this is like the negative if you're old enough to remember film negatives the negative version of this so that's pretty cool um, you might want to add a stroke around the letters to make it pop a little bit more up to you or maybe you want to change the color of this background whatever and Finally, we have background blur, and just like in 7-Eleven, we have two little choices here. I can change the saturation, so if I turn that all the way down, we go to show and show that. This is basically a black and white version of this, so you'll notice that this is changing slowly. If I turn the saturation all the way up, it really makes the colors pop. So once again, let me show that and see how much brighter that is than this. So that's the first thing that I can do. I can also change the blur. Now, right now I have it like halfway up, but if we change that, go to show notice there's no blur whatsoever and I still have the saturation really bright so that provides an interesting effect or I could do just the opposite and turn the blur up all the way once again show and full screen and you can see that now it's really blurry you can't make out any of the details that you can make out here so that's a cool thing by the way, this background, that was something I downloaded from Renewed Vision. So that is all those different effects. You can mix, uh, you can switch between those however you'd like and get some really interesting effects. Basically for this other version, I did the background effect version of this new uh, ability that was shown in... 7-Eleven, so now you'll see that this background is blur where, blurred, whereas the text is just filled with the color. So provides an interesting effect to go back and forth between those two really quickly, kind of really emphasizes the name of Jesus. So something that a lot of people might like for, say, a Christmas or an Easter, probably something you wouldn't do week in and week out. Some churches would, but most wouldn't. But if you really want to uh, emphasize the name of Christ, then that's something that you can do there as well. So that is <coughs> the new background effects the new background effects ability in ProPresenter 7.12. If you like this content, you'd probably like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. So head on over to, here we go, tdm.fyi slash pro 7 quick. Give me your name and email address, and I'll make a login for you for free so that you can watch that whenever you'd like. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.